For those who don't know, you need to reach a $100 threshold in order to receive a paycheck from YouTube. If your videos are eligible for monetization, that is. And I noticed that in March, I was just shy of that threshold. It was a really bad month for me, but I'm a small YouTube channel, and I didn't post any new videos, so that's on me. But I really didn't want to leave almost $100 on the table for another two months, so I decided to try something. In order to do what I did, you'll have to have live streaming enabled, and you'll have to have Super Chat enabled as well. YouTube's totally original, not at all ripoff of Twitch donations. Long story short, I just gave myself $5. It didn't even ask why. And I didn't even have to turn live stream on. As far as I can tell, Super Chat is just a service that can be paid for with any outside account, and YouTube doesn't care as long as they get their sweet, sweet 30 cents on the dollar. I mock, but 30% is actually quite substantial, especially when people don't realize that YouTube takes that out. It took a day to process, but bingo bango, I was over the edge and I got the whole pot. Kind of like those coin slidey games, you know, in arcades. W what are those called? Cash pushers? Okay, this is called cash pushing now. Now, I know YouTube has a rule against soliciting views, which is to say, Hey, can all my followers just run a playlist of my videos on repeat? And I do believe that is wrong to mill out useless views and have the advertisers waste that money. That just hurts the credibility of the platform. Put a pin in that. But what I believe I've done here is move around my money in order to get to my money. You see, whether I reach the threshold or not, YouTube or Google shouldn't be able to touch that because YouTube should have already taken out their share of ad revenue before they set that money aside. If they were fiscally responsible, that is. Put a pin in that. Which makes me wonder what happened to all the money in the accounts that got demonetized recently. You remember how instead of punishing Paul Logan for his actions, YouTube instead tried to retain revenue by cutting off much, much smaller YouTube channels? I suspect this was always a plan, but they decided to implement it at this time under the guise of responsibility. So when all those smaller YouTube channels got demonetized, did they say, ah, well, tough luck, but, you know, here's your check for 30, 20, or maybe even just a dollar worth of revenue that you personally generated? Or do YouTube just pocket all that? I know when I got unfairly demonetized about six years ago, I didn't see a dime of that $290 I made in that last month, and it wasn't waiting for me when I came back. So, no, I don't really feel bad about using this YouTube service, when the only stipulation is 30% of any amount you want to make sure that the word butts gets at the very top of the chat. And even if YouTube learns their lessons and disables the ability to talk to yourself, it's not like you couldn't ask a friend or just use your second secret fat furry fetish account to put the money in. But I am sorry if you thought this was going to be some secret of getting free money. So that's a little April Fool's on you, I guess. But maybe this cash pushing will help those who could use an extra $95 in any given month. I mean, if YouTube hasn't done anything to my channel by then. But if there are any immediate repercussions, then we'll know how they feel about people wanting to get paid for their work, so much so that they'll actually pay a little extra, versus dead bodies, fraudulent DMCs, pushing conspiracy theories on children, blocking discussions of LGBT topics, predatory third-party channels, and just generally terrible people. YouTube is a shit shack on fire. Happy Easter.